Assalamu alaikum, hope you're doing well, inshallah. Today I'm going to be creating a dedicated worship corner for Ramadan. So just a corner where I will be praying, reading the Quran, inshallah, and anything else that I want to do in Ramadan. Um, so I'm going to create a dedicated space. I'm following along on the Ramadan prep calendar. And it is, we are in 19 days left, subhanAllah, it feels like the days are flying. So we are in 19 days left and the task for this day is dedicated space, create and organize a dedicated worship corner for prayers, Quran, dhikr and so on. So that's what I'm working on today, inshallah. And maybe by the time you see this, it might be already 18 or 17 days left. But that's the plan for today, inshallah. And I'm going to walk you through my process, inshallah. And hopefully it encourages you to create your own little corner and get some ideas from this, inshallah. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I just have a pen and paper. And I'm just going to jot down some thoughts of things that I want to make sure are in that dedicated corner. And so let's start with that. Okay, these are my thoughts so far. So of course I want to have a prayer rug and prayer clothes there. I want to have a neat way to store them. So this storage is related to these two. Um, I want to have a little a side table or something that I can place on it. Quran. Oh, I should put a Quran stand as well. So I want to place on the table Quran, dhikr cards, and maybe an Islamic book or two that I can read through Ramadan. I want the place to smell nice. I want to have a diffuser that I can use. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe putting a plant there just to bring some life to the place. And I want the place to have soft lighting. So I think this is a good place to get started, inshallah. And basically, I've been praying over here. So for a while now, I've been just praying here in the living room for the last few months. But I want to be praying in the bedroom, so I'll show you. Okay, so this is the bedroom nook where I want to create it. And I'm thinking of just moving these things and creating the prayer spot here. That's what I did the last couple of years, and it worked well, inshallah. So that's what I'm going to do. And you can see this plant is like half dead. So I need to... One of them is doing fine. The other one died, so I need to replace this. Um, and yes, and then there's some leaves from it. So I'm just going to reorganize this spot and have the corner over here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is clean this thing out or just wipe it down basically just because it's a little bit dusty um i got this a couple of years ago from target to use for prayer rugs and prayer things but anyways i'm going to wipe this down and also wipe this lamp down so that it's not dusty <laughs> It's going to be my prayer clothes, and I'm just going to roll this prayer carpet. And put it in here. So done with prayer rug, and done with prayer clothes. Oh yeah, and also done with storage. Okay, in terms of side table, I'm going to swipe this from here. So I'm going to take this side table and I'm also going to take this diffuser that's on it since I want a diffuser there and I'm going to move it to the bedroom. Okay, I'm also going to wipe this down since it is a bit dusty.
So this is the diffuser. Oops. Hopefully it can reach the outlet. There's an outlet behind this. So I'll see if it reaches. And then this stuff is for the diffuser. It's essential oil and the thing to put water into the diffuser. I'm just going to keep them in this drawer over here. Okay, I plugged it in, it reaches, but barely. So I'm just gonna push this back a little. Okay, I did a little bit of reshuffling. I pushed this table more back since the wire barely reaches. And pushed this in front, and the lamp is there. I'm just gonna straighten out the wires so it looks a little bit neater. Okay, that's as straight as I could get it, not really that straight, but anyways. So that's the setup right now, and I'm going to get Quran, the care books, and other things. Okay, I'm really debating what books to put, so I chose this one, The Simple Sira. I got it recently, but I haven't read it yet. I mean, I read the first few pages, maybe. And if you're looking for a seerah book, basically about the life of the Prophet وسلم, this is a really nice digestible one. It's in very friendly terms, friendly language, easy to read, and so on. So I'll link this below if you're interested in this. But from the beginning, from the start, the, the few pages that I have read so far, it's very um, engaging and easy to understand. But other than this, I'm not sure what to pick. These are some of the books that I'm currently going through. So I'm debating about having this book. But I don't want to have too much because I feel like when I have too much and then I have to make a decision, and then I'm just... I want to have minimal options so that I can focus on just one or two books. So... I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep this one. Okay, these are what I went with so far. Of course, Quran. So I have that. Um, I got this morning and evening decor to put it here. And then I mentioned this, the simple sira. I also got this, Sahih al-Bukhari. I think I figured that it makes more sense to go with easy to read things. So this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Just make this and show you this. Sahih al-Bukhari is a collection of different hadiths and narration. So each one is, you know, pretty short, just like a little paragraph or a few lines to read. So it's very digestible. You can just read one at a time and so on. So I figured it probably makes sense to go with light reading since I'll be fasting and this will probably be easier to digest because the days are going to be hectic because I'm working full time throughout Ramadan. And so I figured it's easier to for my brain power to digest something simple and then of course be reading Quran. This will be the priority. And then this will be just light reading on the side. So I have these two options. I don't think I'll need a Quran stand because I'm going to be using this small one. I have another bigger one but I think I'm gonna stick to this one inshallah. And yeah let's get this a little bit more organized. I'm gonna take the so I have this stand that I put a little alhamdulillah thing. I'll link this, it's just off of Amazon. I got it. But I think I'm gonna use this stand. Let's see how it looks. Maybe for this morning and evening picture, or if I should just leave it standing. I don't know. It's kind of hard to put in here. I think I'll keep it in this. Because it takes up less space when it's flat. Let's check the list. Oh yeah, a plant. Let me look for a plant. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's my setup. Just very simple. Have the prayer rug and prayer clothes in here have two easy digestible books and then Quran, just a plan to bring life <laughs> to the area. And then this is morning and evening thicker and then a diffuser. 
I don't know if I've showed this on YouTube. This is new. It's basically morning thicker and evening thicker in a card-like form. So you can actually stand it up if you want to like this. But I'm just putting it in here for now so it takes up less space. This light bulb seems to not be working properly. It's very, very dim. So I don't know if I have extra light bulbs. I'm going to look and then change it out. Okay. I took this light bulb out and I found another one. I'm just comparing them to make sure it's like the right type. I think so. It's like the same similar it's similar just a different brand i think so hopefully this works bismillah bismillah rahman rahim okay bismillah let's see i'm scared Okay, that's so much better. Okay, it's all set up. So you can ignore the wires over there. That's kind of bothering me seeing the wires. But let's just ignore that. Maybe I can put something under this table that kind of covers that from the view. Um, oh, I should get rid of this light bulb. But well, that's basically it. So, so the prayer carpet storage, and then little setup, and then this nice soft lighting. That's just how it would look. It's time to tick things. So, side table done. Quran. I didn't do a stand. I decided not to. Dicker cards. Yes. Islamic books. Diffuser. Plant. Soft lighting. Alhamdulillah. I'm happy with how it turned out. Hopefully that gives you ideas for how to create a little corner inshallah. So that's it. That's the little corner for Ramadan inshallah. I hope that encouraged you or inspired you to create your own little corner inshallah. It just, you know, it's not necessary but it's just, it just adds to the whole mood of Ramadan and having a nice space that you can sit in and pray and read Quran and so on, inshallah. And so that's it. Uh, inshallah, see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.